Hello there YouTube. Okay, today I'm going to be looking at how to add images to a database. Alright, um, but before we do that, I would like to just point out um, um, data integrity actually. Um, data integrity is um, the idea behind how to use data. And um, one of the things is that images should not be saved on a database. Okay, I know there are circumstances where images have to be saved on a database, but if you can avoid it, then do so by all means. All right. Reason being, and I've got an example here, is um, images. For example, this background of my laptop. If I right-click and view the properties, I can see that that single image is 1.19 megabytes in size. Okay, that's quite big. And if I look at an, a document, I've created a document here called Size. And um, this document itself, I've just put a little random text, the whole document full. And it's one whole page of text. And if I look at the properties of this, you'll notice it's only 11.5 kilobytes. Therefore, I can do up to about 15 pages full of text before I reach the same amount of information as one image. So if you have a report that is 15 pages long, that's the same amount of time to upload or download or save it as what you would have um, the same amount of time to compare to an image. For example, one image could take you 15 pages of a report and therefore if you have a lot of images on your database, your connections will be slow your application will be slow okay so if you can avoid using a lot of images or big images please do alright so um, even though there are circumstances that we need to use images what I've done is I've used our previous um, project which is the context project all I did was I've added a picture box alright the picture box itself I have um, size mode to stretch image I've added a button and I've also added an open file dialog. Okay? This allows me to open an image and stick it in the picture box. The code for that is um, I just said me.open file dialog file name is nothing. That line of code just says the file name must equals to nothing. Okay? Then we show the dialog. The dialog will then appear person can then select an image and if the person did not select an image and the file name is still nothing then it will kick out from this if there is an image then if it's not empty then the picture box image location equals the file name of the dialog okay so let's test that quickly I'm gonna add an image um, let's just go with the flowers Okay, so it looks very nice, very good. Okay, and let's just change it. Okay, it works fine. All right, so now that we have uh, the ability to add images to a text box and we can actually see the image that we're going to upload, um, we need to now allow the database to um, save this image. But as you can remember, in the previous video series, we actually changed some of the features of the data set. So if I go to the data sets, go to the table adapter, and I think it was the delete command, yes. We have changed the delete command um, to change um, to delete where the first name equals my first name and the last name equals my last name. So um, we've actually changed this data set, all right? So, I don't want to delete the whole data set just to add an image to the data set. Okay, so how do we change it? All we need to do is go to our SQL Server, connect, and in my databases, I have the test database. Okay, I have uh, the tables, which is the contact table, and in the columns, I have no images. So, I'm just going to right click on it, click modify. I'm going to add a column called pick, all right, and I'm going to change the data type to an image. There we go. 
okay so the image itself is in binary code or ones and zeros or bytes okay and um, the database itself will know if the image is in binary or not okay and that's why there's an image field um, that's it for this uh, for the SQL so I'm going to just save it and close it okay and now to update our field because now you can see our pick field is not in our data set so we're going to go um, configure the data set with a wizard click on that it now show that the tables the the block that is in there means not all the fields are selected so I'm going to expand that expand that and there you can see is our pick field okay I'm going to check that click finish and that's it now pick field is there and you can see the little ones and zeros next to it meaning it's a byte uh, byte format okay um, everything is still the same I'm just going to go to the table adapter and you can now see that the table adapter because it's updated has actually changed our delete command so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it back in here where first name like at my first name and last name like my last name okay all right looks okay so um we have all of that now let's just go and have a look quickly at the problems okay um i did expect a problem the problem would be that when we do an update okay when we save something it says look i can't save something because there's another field that requires something all right and um, what I'm going to do to sort it out for now is put a comma and it says pick as byte and I'm just going to go nothing okay and that'll sort it out for now okay so um, we have created a pick field it's on the database we've also changed our form okay to add a picture and um, what we've done is we've prepared everything for our next video so um, I shall see you there cheers